Hello, this is a new Zella tutorial with TMS Gen. This is the second in a series, and this is after the teacher has already assigned the students an article. This will show you how the students get into that article when they get to New Zella and what they do. So first they'll go to newzella.com and they log in with their username and password. This is my generic account that I'm using for this tutorial. The students would go to articles and go down here to articles assigned to you and I would either point them to a specific article or give them a choice of browsing depending on the goal of the day. Today I'll have them go into this one, the science article that I selected during the last tutorial. And the first thing the students would do is go right here and choose the Lexile level that's best for him or her so that they can go through and find the text level that best suits their reading. Once they select that Lexile level, everything else they do after that is aligned with the text so it's important that they select the Lexile level that's best for them. Once they select that level, they can go up here and see the instructions that I've given them. I put some instructions in here on coding the text using certain colors, and I made it very general this time just for the specifics uh, of this tutorial to be pretty simple. Highlight interesting information in green and highlight questions you have in blue. So the students would scroll down here and begin to read, and as they start to read, they say, oh, wow, look at that. It's the earliest, most distant galaxy yet. That's cool. I think that's interesting. So I would say distant galaxy. Just to remind myself very quickly. So already I've started to code and annotate this text. Give myself some little notes here. Wow, the universe is 13.8 billion years old. Wow. So I'll put something right here, and I'll say Old Universe, and so forth. So those are some things I found interesting, and as I go along, I might see something interesting down here, and I wonder what in the world is that? A galaxy known as interesting, and I wonder how did they come up with a name for that galaxy? So I'll highlight that in blue because it's a question I have. And then I'll write my question in the right margin here. How did scientists come up with that name. So the students would go through and code the text. Now when they're finished, they click right here to that writing prompt that I set up in their, during the last tutorial. And because this student is assigned to two classes, they need to select the class that they are using today. Today we're using the Newzella Practice class. This is the prompt that I left. This is the default from Newzella, but remember I could have customized that as a teacher as well. So the students would read the prompt and they would type your response here. And when they're all finished, and only when they're finished, they click submit. You can see that it auto saves, which is a wonderful feature. If they're out of time today and they get out of this text, they can get back into it tomorrow and their writing prompt will be saved. You can see that it's still here. I love autosave. Because when our students are busy and they get out of class and they have to dismiss and go back to it the next day, it's just wonderful to know that their work will still be here. Now when they're fully finished with this paragraph, then they say submit. But once they submit, it's already selected and they cannot edit after they select submit. So that's something they would do there. And when they're finished, they click the X. I might also assign them a quiz. The quiz is just a very quick four questions. So it's not meant to be a full assessment of their abilities to understand or comprehend this text but it is one measure that we can use to go through. And we can also go back and look at their annotations and their notes to try to get a clue for how they came up with the answers that they got correct or maybe the answers that they missed. We might come up with some ideas for that as well. So that's a very quick tutorial on students accessing the text that I have assigned to them and annotating, taking the writing prompt, and getting into the quiz.